Hello, lovely little ghosts, and welcome to the Dark Orchard for Lara Watson's 13 Days of Vlogoween! <laughs> As I said in my intro, this is a Vlogoween video. More specifically, I'm going to be doing a Bride of Frankenstein inspired makeup look. So first things first, I'm going to get a little less makey. I'm going to do some eye makeup and some lips. I'm going to be using the Sinister Satin Omen. Take it out of its little coffin. Feel better already. Palette of Royale Black on my lids. And I am also going to put the Palette of Royale Black in my eyebrows. Then I'm going to take a gray and blend that lid out a little. And I'm also going to take the gray underneath my eye. Then I'm going to take a silver and go into the corners of my eyes. And then I'm lining my eyes with the NYX Jumbo Pencil in the color Milk. And some mascara. And there you have it. Just kidding. I'm totally not done. We're going to add stitches next. But because I have done stitches multitudes of times, I'm going to change it up a bit and I'm going to be doing green where the red should be. So instead of red blood, she's bleeding green blood. And yes, I have done a Bride of Frankenstein look before. It was one of my first Vlogoween videos ever. So I am changing it up a bit. I'm In that video, I did, I believe, red stitches and a green face. So in this video, skin toned with green blood. I'm going to be using my go-to palette, the Color Fusion Beauty Glaze palette. And I'm going to be using this pretty green right here. And I don't know where my hand mirror has gone off to, so I'm going to have to be down here at this mirror. Green. Now I'm going to go in with this much darker green. Now I'm going to use Bone Tone by Made You Look to map out the stitches part of these stitches. So give it a little spitz. And yes, I am using the Made You Look stitches method because I love her method. I actually made a mistake and I wasn't going to say it. I was going to act like it was on purpose, but... Uh, I meant to use the Made You Look Shamrock as my green and just use Made You Look paints, but I forgot. So I used green, I used green eyeshadow, but the rest is going to be Made You Look, and now I'm going to use ink. So what I'm doing here is I'm making a dot on each end of the stitch, and then I'm doing a very light line to curve through that stitch. And then this is a technique that Lex just recently showed on her channel on how to mix her paints. So while these are still kind of wet, I probably need to spritz this one again. So I'm going to get this brush wet. I'm going to get this brush full of paint and I'm putting it on top of a palette and just painting the top of the palette because it's a piece of plastic. It's a plastic palette lid. I'm just getting enough. If I have to redo this, I can, but I'd rather not. And then I'm also going to take some of the black and I'm going to mix it together to make a gray color because in the side that is the monster skin, it's going to be gray. And I'm really anxious to do this part down here, so I'm going to do this part really quick. Because my concept here is that the gray is a more dead skin, where he's had to replace different parts 
or repair. And then of course the heart would have to be repaired most of all. So that's definitely a spot that would be monster skin versus human skin. Alrighty, once that dries, I'm actually going to use a cake powder and go over the monster skin with that just to fill in any of those skin tone blanks. Alrighty, and there you have it, a Bride of Frankenstein inspired makeup look. But I do need to add some accessories. A lovely green and black earring to the monster side. You know what it kind of reminds me of? It kind of reminds me of Adam from Buffy. Like how he was made of monster parts and it kind of makes me want to elaborate on that more. ka -chow. And then I picked this up at Spirit Halloween. It's just bolts that you can add to the sides of your neck. And since I mentioned Buffy, to quote Buffy, I may be dead, but I'm still pretty. I actually love this. I love this so much. I knew I would when I was using Lexus paints, but I actually really like it. Fun. Fun, fun. Okay. I'm going to go take like a hundred pictures of this and just enjoy it for a few minutes because it's just so cute. I love it. For the comments down below, tell me what your favorite classic movie monster is. And if I've done this question before, let's think of another one. Tell me what color monster you think I should do. Like if I go for a Adam from Buffy route and do a person that was made of person parts and demon or monster parts, tell me what colors you'd like to see. And if you don't talk to me about that, just talk to me about something because I'd love for you to talk to me down in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you come around again soon. Say bye. Bye.